if you guys want to step in and maybe support the balloon too, just because we want to avoid pinching. The wind is not helping. Wind was not on flight commander Roslyn Friend's side Wednesday afternoon as the senior at Eastern Michigan University worked with their classmates to fill this high altitude weather balloon with helium. We are going to be putting, I think, about a tank to a tank and a half in here so that we can lift. This team of students has been working on this advanced balloon technology for a year and a half. You're watching them test launch it for Monday when they plan to release this huge balloon into the air to document the solar eclipse. They're hoping that there's less wind then. Watch, watch, watch. Yep, that, that's what happens. After about a half hour of work, success. Take off. There we go. Overall, I think it's pretty good. It's really up there. Today, the balloon is tethered. Monday, it won't be. It will float 80,000 feet above the Earth's surface. That's about two and a half times higher than an airplane flies. It takes trial and error to make that impressive feat a reality. You're about to see that. About 15 minutes after students launched this balloon, the line unexpectedly snapped. <laughs> leading all our scientists on this mad dash to catch their equipment as some of it crashed into this pond. The whole video system is um, so... Hey, there it goes. Hi. Successful test. <laughs> Successful in that the team's emergency cutdown system allowed their most important equipment to fall here, while their replaceable balloon body floated away. Do we think everything will be okay by Monday? I think so. I choose, I'm going to choose to be an optimist. <laughs> Success or failure on Monday is, is, is up to them, and that's, that's real life. During Monday's solar eclipse launch, the team's balloon technology will live stream the eclipse from above the clouds and take measurements of the atmosphere as it changes. It's all part of a NASA-funded initiative, giving students scientific, sometimes unpredictable, missions that make a real world impact. And I think, you know, this eclipse in particular is not, there's not gonna be another one like this for another 20 years. So this is something that we need to take advantage of it while it's happening. To be able to document the eclipse, are you looking forward to that? What does that mean to you to be able to do that? Um, it's just, it's so cool to be doing science. Like I get to do like real science. And I put that link for where you can watch the balloons eclipse live stream with this article on our website. In Ypsilanti, Sarah Michaels, 7 Action News.